Thanks for being here. How are you guys? Today I am making French dip sandwiches. It's nice and warm outside, so I didn't want anything too heavy. And this is an easy recipe that you can make for one person or a group of people. Um, it's basically toasted bread with the stuffing of the roast beef in the middle. So it's super easy, super simple. And then you just make the sauce out of the packet. It's called au jus. Great. And it's just with the other packets in the grocery store. You can also use bouillon cubes if that's something that you prefer to do it that way. But that's pretty easy to do it this way. Hey! How are you? Time <laughs> to get started. This makes three cups. So it's three cups of water in this gravy packet. So I'm just going to pour this in here with the gravy. Yes. He just woke up and he's hungry and um, a little irritated, so we're going to do the best we can. Yay! I'm so glad you got those done. That's exciting. been busy too. I just placed another ad in our neighborhood group and um, got flooded with messages, so that's good. Right now I'm just putting water into my saucepan for the aju gravy. I'm just going to set this aside.
They're in the box by the front door. And you can serve this meal on um, or with a side salad or um, chips or brew, anything like that that you would get at a restaurant as a side. But usually, whenever we're finished with these sandwiches, we're so full that we can't eat anything else, even if we want to. So I don't make any sides with it. This is just all there is. Yeah, Dad was right back. <laughs> He's out there reassuring himself. Dad right back. Dad right back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just tear up little pieces for Teddy because it's hard for him to eat a piece of lunch meat, so I'm just going to rip it up and put it on the side. Move these up a little bit. That way he can take easier bites. The oven is preheated at 350, if I didn't say that. Pepper! Bite! Can you get it? You need to learn how to look for food. Down here. Get that bite. Again. <laughs> she hasn't gotten on yet that when I drop food, she needs to get it. Now that the lunch meat is laid out on the parchment paper, I am going to top it with mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. Did you get it? Good job. I like using cheese on the top of things because it's a really good way of telling if it's finished because the cheese will start to bubble and brown whenever something is finished. So I use that as my thermometer, <laughs> even on like lasagna and stuff like that. It'll stay in there melted but not browning until the lasagna is done for whatever reason. I'm sure it's science, but whatever. Parmesan on top. Okay, that is our lunch meat, our innards of our sandwiches. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 350. And it doesn't take very long. Normally you don't preheat your loaf of bread unless you forgot to pull it out of the freezer like I did. So that's why it was in the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this gravy mix. Get that going. Start slicing this bad boy. So what I do to slice this, okay, first of all, I want to tell you, um, whenever you use packaged bread, just in the bread aisle, it has lots of additives to it. So it'll have things to preserve it or chemicals or whatever. But whenever you get fresh baked bread, from the bakery at your grocery store, it tends to have less of those things because it's only meant for a day or two rather than a week or two. Same with cake. If you want to have a treat of some kind without the chemicals, go get a fresh baked piece of cake from the bakery rather than buying like a ding dong or whatever those hostess things are called, any sort of packaged food because those have those preservatives and the chemicals. Whereas something fresh baked, doesn't. That's it. Okay, I'm going to slice this on an angle, just because it's going to be Okay, I saw this trick on TikTok and I want to try it. Wet paper towel, 
underneath the cutting board and it doesn't slide around the counter. Let's try it. Get the towel. Let's give it a go. Life hack. Tearing this up. There we go. It's crumbly because it was a little bit cooked, toasted on the outside, and then it's frozen on the middle. <laughs> hey, I never claim to be perfect. enough for the big members of my family. Now I'm going to cut some little thin slices for Theodore, little ones. Does he get the cute little baby thing? All right. and that is melting. So watch your butter. Don't put it in too long. And now you just dab it on there. Not too heavy since you're doing both sides. just joining us, I have the meat in the oven. I have the au jus gravy on the stove. I am making the toasted bread right now. The meat is roast beef lunch meat with mozzarella and parmesan on top. And then once these are finished, we just put it all together. Okay, those are done. So we just flip everybody over and do it again.
<laughs> you guys are quiet tonight. <laughs> Not a lot going on. It's Friday. Well, for some people it's Friday. For Karen it's Saturday. All right. It's that. Now we're just going to lightly sprinkle with garlic salt, and that's going to be the side that goes on the outside of the sandwich. Okay, and those just go in, same oven, 350, to be toasted. The cheese is starting to melt on the top of the meat, but it's not browning yet, so we don't see not really yet. <laughs> Even <Lee. laughs> oh yeah, the carpenter. <laughs> you take it out to the garage and saw it. <laughs> Messing with socks tonight? Yeah. I'm playing the sock game as well. Wishing for a sandwich. <laughs> Go get some stuff. Make it. It's pretty easy. You'll enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah, I'm playing the sock game tonight, too. I don't know if you can see, but I have layers and layers of socks on. I was doing hair earlier. I just went to the store, rush, rush, rush. And the more I do, the more I have to stop and play the sock game. For those of you who don't know, the sock game is whenever my limb shrinks and I have to add socks in order for it to fit properly in the prosthetic that I'm wearing. So, but the problem is, the faster you go to try to catch up with yourself and get everything done, the more you have to stop and do that. So it, it takes extra time away from all the other things that you still have to do. So I totally feel your pain on that and I hope you get the right amount on there to make it comfortable for you. The gravy doesn't necessarily need to cook, it just needs to warm up. And I have little saucer dishes. I don't know what I did with them. I'm such a minimalistic person that if I don't use something very often, I just toss it. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, I'll we'll just use a blue bowl. It won't be as pretty, but. Yeah. That's the thing. Weather with residual limbs and socks, it's just, it's a nightmare. Six of them. At what ply? Are those all one ply? Or are those like three and five and ones? And sounds like you have a bunch a volume to make up. And this is on your new test socket that you just got like two days ago, right? I'm still looking for those saucers because I the saucer cups. I know I have them. Can't bend down very well in my prosthetic. <laughs> Six ply total. Gotcha. We're just seeing how hot that was because we don't need it scalding. We just need it warm. And now we're just going to wait a couple of minutes to get out um, the meat and sandwiches and put them together. It's a pretty simple meal.
getting very close on everything. So next week, don't forget, we're doing this on Tuesday and Thursday. And right now, I'm thinking at 5 o'clock, I'll eventually move that to 5.30 and possibly 6 o'clock. So watch the community page for that information. something else. <laughs> All right. I'm going to spoon some of this out because we don't want it very hot. This is the Aussie gravy. It's just literally watered down gravy. It is, it's really good on these sandwiches. And like I said earlier, you can make it with bouillon cubes if you want. See how it's just starting? to brown, there's, there's a little bit. We're like within five minutes. Let's see what the comments are saying. Yeah, she is a polite dog. <laughs> Bouillon cubes, yeah, they're similar, but they do have a little bit of a different taste or texture. These are, this is a little bit more, tiny bit more creamy than watery. She is a good dog. She's a very good dog. We have a trip coming up in June, and I've been filming me um, working with her, but we're not very good at filming or working together yet, so we're, I'm still trying to do that, but I've been taking her on walks. I have been taking her to stores. I've been teaching her not to bark or growl in public if she feels that there's a threat, she's on it. Um, but I need her to not do that, you know, in tight quarters like a store or an airplane. Um, we're taking her to Branson, Missouri. We're staying at an Airbnb. And we are going to go to Silver Dollar City. And we're going to do a boat day and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, we're going to be taking her with us. So I need her to be comfortable doing those things. The problem right now is that she is very uncomfortable even in the car. She just shakes and pants a lot and we rub her and tell her it's okay and go short distances so that she doesn't get too upset. Um, what I'm trying to do is train her to get on the floorboard um, because that's where she's going to be in the airplane. So I want to train her that when I say get on the floorboard, she needs to get down there and lay down but she's so scared of even being in the car, I can't get her to do that yet. So we're working on getting over some car anxiety and then moving on to the rest of it. She's a patient dog, she's, she's nice. Yes, I do need to get away. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and that's gonna be a fun one. My whole family is going. Um, my extended family, my sisters, their kids, my mom, everybody is going. It's going to be really fun. All right, pulling the meat out. And the sandwiches are done. You can make them as toasted as you want. We don't like them super toasted because it hurts whenever you bite into it. So my family has requested that I don't push the bread as much. So now I don't. Remember that this is the salty side up, so we want to turn it over, salty side down. Put on one of our meats and cheese, like that. 
We put on another salty one side up. And that's your sandwich. It's so easy and it's so good. Now, what you do, of course you have to make it fancy because that's what we do. You cut it on an angle as soon as you're able to touch it. Delicious. It is. It's so good. And then you just put your bowl of au jus on there and you're ready to serve. So that's an easy one that you can entertain company with or even just make it for yourself one night. And the au jus gravy saves. You can make the whole three cups and eat it several times in a row. So I'm going to say bye right now. So whenever you see this, you guys say bye. I'm going to read the comments while you guys catch up. <laughs> this is a long drag time. Let me just see how many seconds this is. Bye, guys.